Hello and uh, welcome to lecture three. In this lecture, we're gonna go ahead and uh, create a surface from a point data and uh, and also create a surface from a feature line. Go ahead, open up a blank drawing. Also, uh, down below the description, there is a download. Download that file and put it on your hard drive. So come in from the home tab, go to uh, um, point and hit the drop down menu and you have a lot of option click the point creation tool then come in here on this uh, there's a bunch of tabs on top go the one to the furthest right where it says import uh, points click on that one then another window opens up we did this on the last lecture we just did a little bit different way and we came up with the same window here from here click the plus sign the file that you just downloaded from a link below on your computer go ahead click on that file and hit open and now the file format is uh, in um, PNEZD so if you come down find that right here PNEZD that mean P is the number northern eastern then elevation then um, description and then final this window right here click on do convert uh, coordinate transformation if possible and the other two three are should be unchecked click OK you might see the point you may not if you don't see the point it's OK type ZE or come over here uh, head zoom extent and you will have your point right here now that we have imported all these survey points this is a lot of points and if you have taken survey class or you have done survey in a real world you go out take all these shots and these shots basically give you the coordinates and elevation so now we have all these thousands of shots we can go ahead and create surface out of it okay now we're going to go ahead and create the surface Go back from a home tab, uh, find surfaces. From a drop down menu, click down, and there are a uh, number of options we can create surfaces, but we're creating a surface from a point. So we're going to go ahead and cre click the first one, create a surface. And once this window opens up, you can go ahead, you can see the type. The type of surface you have, if you click down here, you see there are other options. You have a grid, and then you have a grid volume and 10 volume. What, we're going to go with the 10 surface. The 10 surface, uh, surface is 10 stands for triangulated irregular network surface, which is the most common one. Uh, that means with the triangular surface, the surface, the, each points are uh, connected to the next point by a straight line and creating a triangle. And these the triangular mesh creates the uh, surface and it generates the uh, contour lines which they have a, a surface point. So now we're going to go ahead and name our uh, surface. Right here, click, and you can type in EG for existing ground. And I'm going to say uh, Lecture 3, so L3. Down here, you can put the description in. Click on the description. Just say existing ground. Whoops. Let's see if I can type. And here you have a style. The style we're going to select is going to be uh, um, uh, two feet and ten feet background. But if you want to change it, go ahead, click on it, and then you can see this three dot right there. Click on a three dot, and you can have a, a, a other option. You, when you click on a drop down menu here, there are other options like uh, two feet, ten feet design, whatever you your company or you want. You can select a style. So let's just stay with what we have. And then go ahead and click OK. So now we have created a surface. If we go back to the prospector, if you don't have your prospector here, come up here, you see this uh, uh, wrench and hammer, click on that once. Uh, it's not there. If you don't have it, then click on it, then you will have it. From the prospector, go find a surface, and then next to it, there's a plus sign. Click the plus sign. And then you see the EGL3, click a plus sign again. And then you see the definition, click the plus sign under definition. 
and down here you can see the uh, uh, when you see point group click on point group and then right click and click add okay and there's the window right here I have to look for it so now you find right here and uh, click all point and hit apply and hit OK. Then you have, we have created a surface right here. Now come up here, go to View, View tab. It's right there. And then once you go View tab, come back to, uh, down in the middle it says View Configuration, click on the drop down menu. Let's make two vertical. Now I have two view here. Um, when you move this around, Put your cursor on top of it and push the wheel of your mouse and then you can move it. Zoom in it, it's going to make it bigger. So I'm going to come back and do the same thing here. Click on this and zoom it, put it in the center of my screen, make it a little bit bigger. Come up top right corner right here. You see that? Click on that. And then let's look at a different angle. And there's the triangle I was telling you about. With the vertex being each point. So now if you go ahead and zoom in right here and then move your mouse just over one of these contour lines and just wait for a second, this window pops up. It says uh, uh, 10 surface, name is uh, existing ground uh, level electric tree style and also give you the elevation which is 149.8. They give you all that information. Okay, now if we want to label the contour line, so what are you going to do here? <coughs> Let me change my view so we can have a better go back to a single view. Come up here from uh, change your tab to Anatoid. And then from Anatoid come in right here it says add label. Uh, that's from the uh, label and table uh, panel. Click on that. And then click on a hover on a surface and come across and go to contour multiple interval. Click on that. So now you got to pick a point from start point and end point. Uh, let's just pick a few of them because this takes long to uh, do this. I'm going to go ahead and click on point right here. Let's say from here. And you can do it from beginning to the end. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish up right there someplace. Click. And uh, specify the interval. 100 is good, and uh, you see right there it says 100, so I'm going to hit enter. And now watch my screen. See, look at all that moving down bottom my right corner. It's working. And give it a minute and uh, you will have all your contour uh, line uh, labeled. And let's zoom in. There it is. Every 100 feet you have it. I see from here 114. 114 because we specified every 100 feet interval that last command that I just go ahead with default was 100 feet you can make it every 500 feet or you really don't want to make it less than 100 feet because your drawing is going to be just too busy with this stuff and there it is you'd like to see it once every 1000 feet maybe once every 500 feet